talking about how to add a specular map to the normal map uh, alpha channel in order to control the shininess of an armor. Uh, basically, yeah, as we covered in just the previous tutorial, the alpha channel of the diffuse texture controls what's transparent, how transparent it is, you know, and if you can see it or not see it on the armor. Well, the alpha channel in a normal map controls how shiny something is, you know, how the light kind of will handle reflecting off of it. So in order to control that, what we're going to be doing is taking this, this is just the female hide armor, and we're going to put this in, you know, we're going to create a normal map out of it, and we're going to take a, a, def, a specular from this, which is basically just a black and white uh, version of this kind of controlled through levels on what we want to be shiny and what we don't. And we're going to put this in the alpha channel of the normal map that we're going to create. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and take this main surface. I want to go ahead and control C it and control V it. All right. Um, and then right click on it and say to new layer. Okay, so I just took this and created a new layer out of it. Now this one here, we're going to go ahead and just turn this into a normal map. So, you know, naturally you just want to go to colors and just desaturate it. Okay, and, um, whoops, that should have made it black and white, but it didn't. Uh, oh, that's why. Just de-click that little eye thing so we can see what we just did there. Um, not control Y. There we go. Alright, it's uh it's desaturated now. We don't really gotta mess with the levels or anything like that. Um we're just gonna turn this directly into a normal map. You can if you want, but um it's not really necessary. So we're just gonna turn this like it is into a normal map. So I'm gonna go over and I'm uh gonna right click, go to filters, map, uh normal map. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set this to a nine by nine with a wrap and maybe set it up to a five okay and there's my normal map well now I want to control how shiny is this armor so I'm gonna you know go uh, come up here and I'm gonna select this pasted layer so I make sure I got it selected whoops and what I want to do now is click on that just to get off of that so it doesn't keep trying to desaturate this uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and actually, come to think of it, we do want to desaturate it because we want it to be black and white. And now you got to look at it. Same as, uh, remember how black you couldn't see it and white you could see it like day and night on the normal map, or I'm sorry, the alpha channel for the diffuse texture. Same concept here. If it's white, it's really shiny. If it's black, it's dull and produces no shine, no reflection whatsoever. So what we want to do is kind of go into our colors and pick our levels. Now this is very sensitive, so you kind of want it to be darker than you'd imagine it should be. So you kind of got to guess, all right, maybe I'll take my middle up some, you know, and then I'll take this. Now, I, I want this to be kind of reflective because it's metal. I want these to be reflective. I don't really want these to be too reflective, so I kind of want them to be darker. So I kind of got to eye these levels here and play around with them a bit. Maybe take the darkness up. And you see what I'm doing here? I'm just playing with these three bars to try to get what I want shiny shiny and what I don't want shiny. Now, that's probably too shiny. Now, you wouldn't think that's too shiny, but that's like almost solid white, which means it's going to reflect like... I don't even know how to sort of, it's going to be as shiny as water being reflected by the sun. So maybe I'll take that down a little bit. All right, try to get a little darker. All right, now this looks pretty good. You know, what you want it to be is if, you know, black, it's not going to be shiny, shiny, you know, night and day. It's not going to be shiny if it's dark, but it's going to be really shiny if it's bright. Okay, so it's white is shiny, black is not. So this looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'll go ahead and select OK. And now what I want to do is I want to come over here to my main surface, the normal map we just created. I want to right click on it and want to go ahead and create add layer mask. Okay, and you can do white full optacy is fine. And just like add. And then uh, you want to come over here, you just click on this little box like we did before, hit control C. Click on the white box and hit control V. And then you want to go down here and click anchor to floating layer. Now we're done with this, we can just go ahead and delete it. Oops, well, I'll just right click and um, delete that layer. 
and now we have this but now we actually have to apply it so you want to go ahead and apply the layer mask so you right click on it go to apply layer mask and now we have a reflection uh, now I know it looks like transparency it's not okay this is still the normal map so what we want to do is go ahead and file export it and you can just export it on your desktop uh, or you know this is like an example you just want to do this with whatever you're working on I'm just gonna export this to my desktop and I'll just call it curious light underscore in that DDS and I just click export now because this has an alpha channel we want to make sure that our format permits an alpha so you want RGBA8 will work just fine and you can click generate maps and this should be good now you can compress it if you want I really never use compressions um, on normal maps because I I, th I think that um, it's a normal map you kinda want your normal map I know it's a really high megabyte but I prefer to have very complex normal maps the higher the bitrate on it uh, the more complex it's gonna be and the better it's gonna look so I just I never use compressions I just format it and select OK now we have our normal map now just as an example I'm gonna open up Adobe Photoshop and I'm going to show you what this looks like in Adobe Photoshop uh, because it doesn't it's not really going to show that transparency in Photoshop so computer and I'm going to go to okay, my desktop I got that issue I can't see it over here even though I did export it and then grab this curious light underscore and it's like okay now you can see here if I turn this alpha on see this is like not going to be reflective almost at all but these white parts are kinda of gonna be reflecting this is kind of a fur so you can kinda of see a blue in there it's gonna be slightly reflective um, you know if you're familiar with Photoshop I highly recommend you get Photoshop I'll be probably doing some tutorials on how to do this same thing with Photoshop in the future but you can kinda of see these were like little metal buttons and they're gonna be shinier with the way we did it um, and this is exactly how you want it to look like if you have Photoshop and you can look at it this is what you're going for your metal is going to look like a blue and your not metal is going to look like I guess that's a reddish pink I don't know but that's what you're going for and this is going to produce a shine so now in your uh, NIF file let me find a NIF file real fast I'll just grab one of these uh, um, grab that same right leg we were messing with in the last video if I come in here and I look at this and I select you know something in my NIF file well naturally I'd have already assigned it to the BS lighting. Now, you do not need an alpha channel to produce a specular map um, to control shine. You don't have to. You only have to have that if you have transparency. So you'll notice this doesn't have an alpha channel. Why is that doing that? That's weird. <laughs> Anyways, um, the main thing you want to make sure in order to actually turn that specular map on is you need to click on your BS lighting shader property and then you can come in here and in shader flags one you want to double click this open it up and you can click SF, oh, SLSF1 specular you have a specular map now in the alpha channel of your normal map so you can actually turn this on and it'll actually use that specular map on the texture so it won't be like this super shiny thing remember how we had to turn this off if you watch one of the previous videos I told you to turn this off to stop it from being super shiny well now you can turn it back on because you're controlling how shiny it is you actually have a specular map installed on your textures so it actually has something to reference to say okay this is how shiny this part of the texture is going to be and this is how dull the rest of it's going to be it's that's what specular is basically doing it's controlling how shiny things are uh, and again just like I stated in the previous video when you export from 3ds max you will disable your um, normal map it basically sets the UV to 1 and it turns it off so to turn it back on you have to come up into NI tri shape data double click on num UV sets and set this to 4097 and then you got to right click on NI tri shape go to mesh and select update tangent space and then you can save because you're good um, in the next video what we're going to discuss is I want to show you guys how to make a reflective surface so I'm not talking about controlling the shine I'm talking about actually reflecting the environment on your armor so when you look at it like have you ever seen that plate steel armor or whatever uh, the plate steel kind of reflects 
what's going on around you. Well, that's what we're going to be shooting for is to reflect the world around us on like some plate steel armor. Now, I'm not going to test this uh, normal map deal in game, the specular map, because I already know how it works. You'll have to play around with it and get just the right levels. So, you know, maybe instead, you know, don't close GIMP and leave it open as you kind of can just change and the layer mask as much as you want or just continue to create the normal map until you get the shine just the way you want it now again if you want it to completely destroy like um, let me hit see if I can control Z this um, shut this off and I'll uh, try to delete that layer mask now if I wanted to completely destroy any kind of shine whatsoever I could actually paint the stuff jet black and there will be no reflection on it whatsoever. I mean, it'll be just not shiny at all. So just you have to be clever with this and kind of play around with it. If you have a complex army, you may want to, you know, kind of cut some of it out, you know, and try to paint just in that area to cut around stuff. And you select that, and I think you can paint uh, jet black inside of a setting like I just did there. Like, and let's say that there, this part was shiny on the outside of it and the inside was not. Well, you could do it like that as well to control what's shiny and what's not. And then you'd put this, uh, you know, you'd create your uh, layer mask and you'd say, okay, that's fine. Add white. Grab this. Control C. Grab that. Control V. Anchor it to a layer mask. And now that little section I just cut out is going to be not reflective at all, which that didn't really do what I wanted it to because I had the wrong thing. Let me go like this. I'm messing things up here. There we go. I had the thing still selected. And then I just delete this. Well, you guys get the idea. I just wanted to show you that that's possible as well. you got to be clever with these things and play around with textures as much. This is just a basic tutorial to show you how to add that specular map in and control the shine. And again, next one we're going to look at how to make things reflective, a steel type look to it to where... Um, the best way to describe it is if you've ever looked in the game at Nordic Plate is what I'm talking about, how it reflects the environment around it. Well, that's environmental mapping, and we're going to take a look at that in the next tutorial. So I look forward to sharing that information with you, and I'll see you guys uh, for the next video. Again, if you haven't already, please check out uh, www.nidacy.com. Uh, and if you have any questions on any of the tutorials, please uh, feel free to register on the forums. You do not have to be a member of the site to ask your questions on the forums. I will see your question on the nidacy.com forums ten times faster than I will see them anywhere else because they got 40 million places that people ask questions on. That's the narrowed down location. I'm trying to route everybody to the website. If you have a question, ask it on those forums. All you got to do is just register for the forums. They're at the bottom of the non-members page and at the bottom of the members page. So you just scroll all the way down. Bam, there's the forums. Register. It's just standard PHP BB3 forums. And you can ask any question you have. Again, that's all the time I got for this video. So I'll see you guys uh, for the next video and we'll talk about environmental mapping.